the reason why narcissists ghost you. The narcissist planned on ghosting you from day one. They knew they had to have an exit plan. Their motivation for pursuing you was due to something that they needed at that time to get them to their next destination. You were just a pit stop, a place for resting and refueling. Because narcissists always think there's going to be something better right around the corner. They're always looking for the next shiny new toy. Even if they have something good with you, they're always thinking there's something better for them. So they're never satisfied with what they have. This is why they're so insatiable. And they knew that at some point it was going to end with you. They saw you as something temporary from day one. Because they know they're difficult to deal with. They know they cause problems. They know that the things they do will irritate and upset people. Which is why they use a false character. It's why they put on this mask and act like they're pleasant and agreeable. To make you more accepting of them. Because if they didn't do that you would have gotten rid of them a long time ago. So they have to put on an act. They have to do some of the things you like. Some of them will cook for you, some of them will clean, they will mirror back to you whatever they think you want them to be or do. They will future fake, they will give you false promises about your future with them, they will make it seem like they're going to be with you for a long time. But they just need to feel more comfortable. So everything has to revolve around them. Everything has to be about what the narcissist wants. You're meant to serve them. You're meant to cater to them. But they will act like they're going to do something for you and return in the future. When they start working again. Or when they find some money. Because they want you to feel like they're here to stay. It lets down your guard. It causes you to relax. It stops you from being so careful and alert. And they're constantly monitoring your reactions to what they do. So if they see that it gets a positive response, they will do it even more. They will feed you lies. They will make up stories. They will go all out in the beginning to make you believe that they're really about it. But they're acting differently when they're not around you. They're already looking for something else. Especially if you are dealing with a female narcissist. They will ghost you even quicker because they tend to have more options. It's a lot easier for them. So they already have an exit plan, even if everything is good. Because they don't think like normal people. They live in a fantasy world that they've created inside their heads, which is why they're so arrogant and entitled. So no matter what you're doing for them, they're always thinking about something better because they have these grandiose fantasies of unlimited wealth, power and success so nothing real could ever measure up to that. Which is why no matter what you do it will never be good enough 
so they will always have an exit plan. It doesn't matter who you are or what you're capable of, because they're always thinking of something better and greater. They're always looking for something else. And they never stop. They will take the highest bidder, whoever offers them the most, or whatever they think is going to be the best situation for them. But even that isn't going to last. Because they also want someone who is weak. They want someone who they can control. So you could be giving them all of the money in the world. You could be giving them the best sex they ever had. But if they find someone who is weak and foolish, someone who they can easily manipulate and control, someone who isn't as difficult to deal with, because it's a lot of work for them to put on this act with you and they're very lazy. So they will leave you for that type of person. Even though they're nothing compared to you, they have no advantage over you, they're not as good as you are, they will leave you for that because they don't have to work as much at trying to deceive that type of person. So they will go wherever is easiest for them, wherever they feel more comfortable, even though it may not be better for them. Which is why they will ghost you, but they will act like it was your fault. They will create an argument, they will make up some problem, so that they have a reason for ghosting you. And then you will think that you caused it, when it's all just a game. As soon as you got involved with them, they were already looking for an easier situation. They were already looking for someone weaker and more foolish. They were already distancing themselves from you, because they knew it was only a matter of time until you figured them out. They knew they didn't have a chance, which is why as soon as they find something more suitable, they will leave. But this is why they didn't invest much into you, because they weren't planning on being there for long. They knew that if they didn't leave, you'll eventually get rid of them, because they know they're not about anything. They know they're not good enough for you. And they know it's only a matter of time until you realize that, because they can only keep up the act for so long. But that's why they lie. That's why they use future faking, to create an image of something more in the future. But it never comes into fruition because it's just a fantasy. It's just something they've created inside their heads. And as long as you believe in it, you're under their control. And they will use that control to their advantage to make you do what they want until they're finally ready to leave. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one on one with me on my website, it's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.